Tanasha Donna brings back Nesib Jr. in camera to taste his counting skills. All this and more into this video onto the East Africa social television. Alright, welcome to East Africa Social Television. I go by the names of RD. Today's Friday. We are getting into Saturday, and I know it's always parting in East Africa because I know Uganda, one of the parting, best parting, best parting countries in East Africa, and people party till dawn in there. And I know that's why you see very many artists from Tanzania, Kenya, Nigeria, and Rwanda when they come to Kampala, they don't want to leave because Uganda is known for partying hard. And I know Kenya people are partying, Tanzania, Rwanda. So I know it's a Friday and people are really having fun, but that does not cease us from really bringing you these stories in here onto the East Africa social television of Tanasha Dona bringing back Nesib Jr. in camera to test his counting skills in here. Smash the like button, comment and share. That 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 goes to people who really who really have already subscribed to this channel. And if at all you're watching us for the very first time, go into the lower right bottom corner, click the subscription button. And then click the notification bell, then click all that will enable you getting notified each and every time we upload a video onto this channel. Now we get into the family of Diamond Platinums. This time round, we are so much into the sun and the ex lover who goes by the names of Tanasha Donna. Or catch by Barry in there. Now Tanasha Donna had really taken some long time without showing us Nesib Jr. And the last time he she really showed us Nesib, she told us that Nesib really deserves to go in saloon. And right now we've seen that the hair has been has been has been plated plated again and Nesib looks good in there and he is really looking like a son to Diamond Platinums in there. Now way back, I think like last year for two consecutive days, Tanasha Dona had to really give us videos of Nasib Jr. counting from 1 to 10. And then the second video, Nasib was counting from 1 to 20. And I think he was really he was really undergoing some lessons at home in there. I don't know who the teacher was, but it looks like it was Tanasha Dona's bestie who goes when the Joserina Montengero in there, the Angolan friend. Of Tanasha Donna and Nesib looked to be a sharp boy and he has gone ahead to show us that he's really sharp in there again. He has not yet forgotten how to count and today he, he has really shown us that he is that bright boy who does not forget and he respects what the mother asks in there. And before even Tanasha Donna told, told him to count, the boy was already counting in there. It shows you how smart this boy is, not yet in school. I don't know who is teaching him, whether the grandmother, that is the mother of Tanasha Donna, or Tanasha's bestie, Motengero. I don't know who is teaching this young man, but this young boy is looking bright. He's smart upstairs. That's the best way to come up and frame it up in here onto the East Africa social television. Now, allow me bring you this video of Tanasha Donna and the son who goes by the names of Nesib Jr. I really like Nesib, you know. He gives you, he gives you, he gives you give birth to a baby vibes in there. And by the way, I think every person would love to get a child who is smart upstairs like Nesib because Nesib is all smiles, he's jolly, and he gives you appetite of really posting him and I think each and every day Tanasha is looking like oh I should post this glad but let me keep these videos and I know these videos are not short on that day he up she uploads them she just gets that content from Nesib and then stores it then I think after like one or two months she flaunts Nesib onto us something that we really appreciative because Nesib is a celebrity and he shouldn't really throw him to us every time let's go to Nesib and this is what he had to say when he was with the mother Tanasha Donna Someone needs a haircut. Haircut. You know cut. One, two, mm -hmm. three. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. five, <laughs> six, yeah. six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Hi. 
One. Mm-hmm. Two. Mm-hmm. Someone needs a haircut. Haircut. <laughs> <laughs> And I really don't know what runs into Diamond Platinum's mind when he really sees that all his children, especially that of Tanasha and those of Zari, not being able to speak Swahili, he is mother tongue in there. I don't know what really runs into his mind because it looks like none of his children can speak Swahili. I've never heard Nesim speak Swahili. I've never heard Prince Stifa speak Swahili. I've never heard Prince Nilan speak Swahili. All of them speak English apart from um, that the child is it Dylan? Dylan, a child to Hamisa Mobeto. I think for him, he's going to speak Swahili because he's growing up in Tanzania and that and that is their native language in there. And I don't know where that atmosphere, where Nesib is, is favoring him to really learn some, some, some Swahili in there because Tanasha Dona and Motengero, the friend, already speak English. You get and Tanasha Dona being a linguistic, she speaks lots of languages, so we don't know what language is so much used into that word, but it's obviously English because a real Tanasha has never posted a video speaking Swahili. In that, when you look, when you even listen to, to Tanasha speaking Swahili, she's not so much fluent, she, do, she, she does not flow like other Kenyan, Kenyan citizens or Tanzanian citizens in there. So, I really feel like this is something that damn and should be blamed for because he failed to settle up with a woman in his home because if at all he had zari in the house you know swahili is the native language into the house of diamond platinum if at all tanasha was there she would have grown with the sib in there in the swahili nation and they would have been speaking swahili so guys i don't know what you think about tanasha bringing back nasib jr in camera to test his counting skills in there. Go into the comment section and tell us what you think about what Tanasha did to the sun in there. I'm signing out for now. See you later. It's most, most probably tomorrow because we are planning to bring you more and more videos in there. Remember today, we started up with the video of, of Ali Kiba. He's in hot soup after the wife went ahead to file a divorce. And the wife wants 200,000 Kenyan shillings per month. You get as family support in there so that's what we had for you in there more and of this is coming up in here onto the east africa social television good night